so hello friends in this video i will show you the uh, alpha decay which is uh, a part of alpha decay actually uh, which is called the gamos theory and the relationship with giga nutter law so this is a uh, important um, topic of alpha decay so here we begin so let there is a parent nuclei uh, x okay x mass number a and photon number c so um i i'm gonna uh, assume that it had it has a mass number of a plus 4 and z plus 2 so this will disintegrate uh, into a y say y daughter nuclei with a mass number a and uh, mass number a and proton number z and uh, evolution of an alpha particle which is helium 4 2 so so if we uh, see the um, nuclear energy diagram so here it goes so this is the energy diagram of the alpha particle uh, r is that is here this is r where is this is the distance from the nucleus and this is energy in mega electron volt so here it has been we all know that the uh, energy of an emitted alpha particle is uh, around 4 to 10 mega electron volt but the barrier potential is 25 20 to 25 electron mega electron volt so the so this is a uh, rather uh, impossible for an alpha particle to move out from a uh, uh, nucleus because there is a barrier of 20 to 25 mega electron volt whereas the energy of an alpha particle is 4 to 10 mega electron volt so it is a uh, impossible uh, fact so to encounter this type of this uh, problem a uh, quantum tiny effect is introduced to resolve this situation so what is what uh, gamma do is he mm, the say this is the alpha particle so it has a dual property um, particle and wave so he just assume it like a quantum particle and quantum quantum turning effect okay so here is the diagram so this is actually the barrier width okay so this is the barrier width which is l and suppose this is r naught and this is r so r is the so this is the kinetic energy where the which the alpha particle will evolve so now we will start the um, gamma theory so first so first uh, in uh, if we are all familiar with quantum me mechanics there is an equation uh, called the penetration uh, probability so we will write, uh, write it so p equal to where p is the penetration probability of the alpha particle or any quantum mechanical particle okay so this p will equal to e to the power minus 2 k l l is the quantum barrier sorry uh, potential barrier here yeah, this is the l okay and uh, two things i wanted to tell you that uh, the potential energy will be um, potential energy so so 
potential energy will be charged up to particles so there will be 2e it's 2e charge okay so 2e so this is z so z e into z e by 4 pi epsilon 0 by r r is the distance from the nucleus another kinetic energy will be e equal to 2e same into z e by 4 pi epsilon 0 here i told you that this is the kinetic energy over direct which the alpha particle will gain so this will you know, this position uh, r equal to capital r so i will write as capital r so now we will start so first and k equal uh, so here p equal to is given minus 2k and k is uh, we are all familiar that k is root 2 m v minus e by h cut m a uh, v or u same okay so now now suppose now let there are small strip of um, strip in this barrier width of width small width dr okay dr so dr now we uh, this will become dp equal to minus 2 root root 2 m v minus e h cut h cut into dr so integrating we get dp equal to e to y minus 2 so this will become r naught to r the limit will be from r naught to r so this since this is the width so r to r r naught to r 2m v minus e by h cut root dr yeah. so guys this is the equation so now the main part is to solve this integral so we will assume this as uh, for this part only as t so we will assume t equal to minus sorry plus 2 r not r root 2 and v minus e by h cut dr so so this is now solve it it's that 2 root 2 m we will take root e common so this will become r0 and h also common so sorry it, this will h square okay this is h square this is h square whole term is in square root h square so this is always square this will come out from the root as h h cut okay so we will take e common so this will become e sorry b minus e minus 1 to the power half dr r not to r okay now now we will just substitute this uh, this thing and if we v by e will become uh, this is v and this is e so v by v, e will become r by r since this all will get cancelled so this will be r divided by r v by e so this will become and 2 m e h cut r 0 r by by r by 
capital R by small r minus 1 okay now we will assume two things in this now we will assume now we will assume let r equal to let r equal to r cos square theta and capital r not okay capital r not equal to r cos square theta not okay so when so when r r equal to r equal to this r so r r will get cancelled and this will become one so this theta will be equal to zero and when this smaller equal to capital r not so this will become theta not zero so the this will change into t equal to 2 root 2 m e m e h not this will become theta naught and this will become zero sorry zero as i have told you that when this small r equal to capital r then r r cancel equal to one then theta equal to zero because cos zero equal to one and when r naught equal when we will put r equal to r naught then this will become theta naught okay we have just assumed okay so this i have and we will uh, put this value so r equal to r this will put in this value r cos square theta minus 1 and dr will get differentiating dr equal to dr equal to r 2 cos theta minus sin theta d theta okay so this will become r 2 cos theta minus sin theta d theta so now this will become 2 root 2 m e m e by h naught theta naught 0 by 0 so simplifying this whole we will get uh, we will get 1 minus cos 2 theta okay simplifying this uh, term means simplifying this term okay we will get so like this will this and this will get cancelled and this r will come uh, this r will get common and this will come in this okay now now we'll just uh, integrate this and we will get root 2 2 m e r h cut by by we will get theta minus sine 2 theta by 2 the limit will be theta 0 by 0 okay now again this will putting this value we will get root 2 r root 2 m e by h not h cut sorry h cut theta 0 minus sin 2 theta 0 by 2 since 0 if we put 0 here and 0 here this whole will become 0 so this will become okay so now again now again uh, we know that r0 equal to r cos square theta naught so here we will case cos theta naught equal to root r0 by r and and sin theta naught will be 
and the turn out will be 1 minus r0 by r ok so putting this value here again this will become ok now putting this value in this theta equal to cos inverse this will become so simplifying again 2r root 2 m e h not h cut sorry h cut theta 0 sin 2 theta 0 will, will become 2 sin theta 0 cos theta 0 2 2 cancel so it will become sin theta 0 cos theta 0 2r root 2 m e h not h cut so theta will become here theta 0 will become cos in cos inverse cos inverse uh, root r 0 by r root r 0 by r and this will become sin theta 0 and this multiply will become root r 0 r into root 1 minus r 0 by r ok so so this uh, so we will um, make the make it as sign term so this will become um, so next page So this will become equal to 2r equal to 2r root 2m e by h naught. So if we if we convert it into sine term, then this will become sine inverse pi by 2 minus root r0 by r. And, and while the other term is root r0 by r into 1 minus into root 1 minus r0 by r so simplifying this since uh, this is uh, since uh, theta is uh, small so this will will write it as theta since this is very small r0 by r so this will become 2r 2r root 2 m e by h cut pi by 2 minus root r0 by r so n this will become r0 by r 1 minus 1 minus r0 by r to the power half if we will expand it we will neglect uh, we will expand it and we will neglect the higher term and neglecting the higher term we will get only this so this will become only minus r, root r0 by r into 1 and this we will neglect because it will be if you expand the binomial theorem this will be uh, higher terms and which is which will be very small as r0 by r is and is itself is very small so this will become 2 r root 2 and e by h not h cut sorry pi by 2 minus 2 root r0 by r since r0 by r is very small so now we have evaluated this so see this is equal to t that i have assumed here t t this will become t so t will be 2 
r again we have r equal to this r equal to we are kinetic energy r so we will replace this r by kinetic energy and this whole term which will become jd square by pi fn in 0 which cut into 1 by root e into root 2 and e sorry this will become this and pi by 2 minus 2 root r0 by r so this will again will become j d square by pi epsilon 0 h cut so this 2 m and this is uh, equal to half mb square so this will become mv square half so mm cancel and this will come out as and this will become pi by 2 minus 2 r0 by r so this will come out as j d square pi epsilon in 0 h square into 2 p pi by 2 minus 2 and r0 by r will be again be become r0 by r again become e by potential barrier as i have uh, told that so now we will multiply this term and we will get j d square 2 into j d square 2 into j d square by pi epsilon not h cut v into pi by 2 minus 2 j d square by pi epsilon 0 h cut okay we have pi into v into into 2 root e by v <coughs> so this is t or final equation so now penetration probability equal to e to the power minus t okay we have calculated again we know that lambda which is disintegration constant equal to omega by p where omega is triangular frequency so this will become this will uh, again become v by 2r v is the velocity to r to r is the radius sorry r not it will be r not radius and p equal to e to by minus t okay so this will again become e to the power minus t so now we will take logarithm so ln lambda equal to ln v 2 r 0 v 2 r 0 by e to r 0 and this will become mm, wait wait I am gonna check it that whole thing is right or not so this will so this we will become so this will become again um, uh, this integration v to r 0 minus ok minus this will uh, this term where is this term ok this will become 2 to cancel okay 
8 square 4 epsilon 0 h cut 3 plus 4 2 into 2 4 j d square by pi epsilon 0 h cut 3 root d y 3 okay now we all know their half life t equal to ln 2 by lambda lambda is in this in constant so so we will now put the value t equal to ln 2 ln 2 by lambda ln 2 by lambda and this will give us um, this will become omega e to the power minus t this will be uh, in upper so you will e to the power plus t so we will write omega e to the power plus t so this will give so this will give us as 2 or not it's on putting the value of omega and uh, not v v okay v and ln 2 e to the power exponential exponential will get z d square z d square by pi epsilon 0 h cut 3 minus 16 z e square by z is sorry not 16 4 z e square by pi epsilon h cut epsilon v e y v e y v sorry e y v so guys this is the uh, uh, giger natal giger Giger nut tell law. This is the Giger nut law. So by gamma theory, we are able to prove the Giger nut law. Actually, Giger nut law tells us the relationship between the half life of a particle. Uh, sorry, uh, half life of alpha particle t half between and the and the energy of it so so we have uh, shown that the t or t half is uh, the relationship between t half and the energy of alpha particle so this is the real not a law